Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make these savory French onion muffins. Now these muffins are just as at home with bacon and eggs at breakfast time as they are with grilled meats and veggies at dinner. These muffins, as you might have guessed, get their inspiration from French onion soup, which gets its incredible flavor from the process of caramelizing the onions and from the melted Gruyere cheese that tops it all off. But we can get away with a lot less cheese in this one, so we really won't be overdoing it too much. All right, to make this, we'll need two onions diced, three tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one half teaspoon of salt, some black pepper to taste, two eggs, one third of a cup of milk, one cup of gluten-free Bisquick, and three ounces of Gruyere cheese half of which will go into the batter, and the other half will top off the muffins. All right, first, preheat the oven to 375 degrees and heavily grease a muffin tin with nonstick spray. Make sure it's not the kind with flour if you're on a gluten-free diet. All right, we'll start out with the onions since they take a while. Melt the butter in a large nonstick saute pan over a medium heat and add the onions to the pan with some salt and pepper. Stir them to get them coated and turn the heat down to low. Continue to let them cook over the low heat, stirring them every five minutes or so. After about 25 minutes, they'll look like this. Add the balsamic vinegar and stir continuously until all the liquid in the balsamic is evaporated. And then the onions are done. Set them aside, but don't drain off the fat since you'll need that in the muffin batter. All right, now to make the batter, Whisk the eggs and milk together. Then switch over to a rubber spatula and stir in the bisquick. Once that mixture is well combined, stir in the onions and half the cheese. Now evenly divide the mixture into the 12 muffin wells. I used a scooper to get them all the same size. You could use the back of a spoon to press them into place if you want. Now bake them for 22 minutes. At that point, I like to remove them from the muffin tin, place them onto a foil-lined baking sheet that's been sprayed with nonstick spray, and top them off with the cheese. Then I put them back into the oven using only the residual heat for about three minutes or until the cheese is melted, and they're ready to serve. These are great to make in advance, too. Then right before you want to serve them, you can put them on the cookie sheet, with the cheese in a 350 degree oven for a few minutes and they'll be all warm and melty. These are a fantastic addition to dinner. With beef, chicken, or fish, they're a great alternative to bread. You could also double the recipe and make them taller if you'd like. But I like the ratio of cheese and crispy edges in a shallower muffin. So whether you're ending your day or starting off your morning, I really hope you'll give these unusually tasty muffins a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.